tiny and they're hard to see. Alright? And those three tiny hairs are called the trigger hair. Yep. And also if you look inside these traps, a lot of them have that reddish tint to them, that reddish color. And they also have a sweet smell. So these also attract ants. Right? They're called the fly trap, but their their main insect of these are ants. So what happens is the ant crawls up in there. And he has to tickle one of those hairs. He has to hit it at least twice for it to close. And the reason is because it takes a lot of energy for that trap to close and open back up. So it doesn't want to waste energy. So if it's raining out here and a raindrop hits one of those hairs, it's not going to close. All right, it has to be hit at least twice for it to close. So the, the ant hits that hair twice, and that trap closes in less than a second. All right, closes up on him and hopefully traps him. If the insect were to get out, say it was a real tiny ant in a big trap, then that ant might be able to crawl out in between there. And if he crawls out, then the trap actually knows, can, can figure out whether there's an insect in there. And if there's not, he'll go ahead and grow back open. Right. But if he did catch that ant, then over the next day or so, it'll go ahead and close up real tight. And once it gets closed up, it'll fill up with those digestive juices. And it'll dissolve that insect, absorb those nutrients, and then it'll grow back open. And that whole process usually takes about three to five days. Now, each trap can only eat about three to five meals before that trap dies off and has to grow a new leaf or that new trap. And so, and also, even if it, it doesn't have a meal, say, you know, it gets tri you know, triggered and it closes up and it grows back open, it can usually only do that probably eight or nine times before it dies off and has to grow a new trap. So we don't want to, the, to make them close because if every group that came by did that, then they they die off quicker and they can grow back. And this plant here does the same thing that the butterwort does and the sundew. It grows up a real tall stalk. All right, and this one here is usually about a foot tall, a little bit taller than those butterworts, and it has white flowers on the top. Yeah, it's you see about that four or five little white here? flowers. And so it's probably about another month from now. If you were to come back a month from now, you'll see these white flowers scattered all throughout this area going all the way back that way. And that's where all the Venus flytraps are. Yeah, that'll be pretty easy to track them. How much will it look like?